All right, tonight at 10, we are talking trash. Residents in one coastal community are fed up with the illegal dumping. They say it's creating trash piles, often remaining for weeks along their roadway. NBC 15's Corey Pippen spoke to Fort Morgan locals and county officials about the growing problem. Fort Morgan residents say they've seen everything from construction debris to everyday trash dumped on the side of the road. Baldwin County officials say they're working to keep up with it, but it's not easy. Fort Morgan remains a rare, unincorporated coastal beauty, mostly untouched by commercial development. But amid the scenic views along the Gulf, residents say eyesores like this have become a common sight. And to have people come in and just dump their trash on the roadside and leave their garbage on the beaches, it breaks your heart if you grew up here, you know. Joe Emerson, longtime Fort Morgan resident, says this pile of trash featuring a couch, old paint cans, and a large chunk of concrete is just one example of a problem that's gotten worse with growth over the last decade. It's not uncommon for a pile of debris to remain three, four weeks until we raise enough stink, so to speak, to have somebody come out. Billy Joe Underwood, Baldwin County Commissioner, says the county's Solid Waste Department conducts a sweep of the area at least once a month, ramping those efforts up before major holidays. But the problem has put a strain on resources. Sometimes they pick up as much as five truckloads when they do a sweep. It's generated because there's a lot of rentals. And Underwood says because of Fort Morgan's distance away, it's hard to catch illegal dumpers in the act. They primarily rely on residents to report violations and trash piling up. We need to know, and there should never be a situation where there's a mattress laying on the side of the road for a month. We've got to increase uh, enforcement and we've got to increase pickups. Commissioner Underwood says the county has purchased more knuckle boom trucks, which are designed to pick up large debris. Emerson, who's also the Civic Association president, says they're planning to have a community wide cleanup event this weekend. In Baldwin County, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.